hello lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel today i've got five casual outfits for you for this transitional season so i really hope you enjoy it and i hope that you find it useful Firstly, I wanted to show an example of how you can wear your summer dresses when it's a little bit cooler. I have worn my pink Zara dress that you might remember from last year's haul, and I've popped over it another item from Zara, also old in my wardrobe, so you know how I like to restyle my clothes. And I've popped this shirt over it just to obviously add a little bit more warmth and i've also added my kath kidston bag again old i bought this ages ago actually i bought it as a gym bag but i tend to wear it like if i go shopping or anything like that and then the shoes are these lovely wedges from Audrey Leighton Vintage, which is a shop that I found on Instagram that is absolutely gorgeous. I love a monochrome look. So for this next outfit, I've gone for a black and white theme with some gold jewelry and a little pop of green. So we have this gorgeous silk thread dress, which was probably one of my favorite purchases from last year. And then I've paired it with my black Ted Baker flats, which are quite new to my collection, but I think that I got them in the sale, so I think they might be out of stock now. Then I added this chunky chain necklace, which I can't actually remember where it's from, but I think it did appear in a haul last year. So I'm thinking maybe ASOS or Shein, or it might even have been under the stories, but I haven't worn it for a long time because I just feel like it's more appropriate for warm weather. So hopefully now that we're in spring, summer, I will wear it a little bit more. And then I have added this Shein bag, which, I don't use a massive amount just because I'm not really a colourful dresser, but I am trying to add more pops of colour to my outfits. And then I just felt like something was missing. I think there just wasn't enough black really for this to be a black and white look. So I thought I would add my Bulgari sunglasses, which were my first luxury purchase of 2021. And they have this gorgeous snake detail. Next we have a classic roll neck and mini skirt combo, very 60s, especially with a pair of knee high boots. So we have this white or cream roll neck from ASOS. It's kind of oversized and uh, I've actually tucked it under the underwire of my bra to make the tuck look a little bit neater. So it kind of looks like it's tucked into the skirt, but it's not actually. To be honest, it does mean that a little bit of my flesh is not on show, but it's kind of exposed to the elements. So if it was a very cold day, I would probably just tuck it straight into the skirt or in fact, I would tuck it into my tights to make it look a little bit more seamless. The pink skirt is a from Gracefully Her, which is a brand unfortunately that no longer exists, but I think it's actually Neon Rose. I think that's where she sourced it from. So you might be able to find it if I can. I will link it down below. Then I have a pair of snake print knee high boots from ASOS, which are kind of my go to pair of boots for wearing with mini skirts this time of year. And then on top, I have popped on my Burberry trench coat. I don't really like my legs, don't like having them on show, so I think. If you have a knee high boot and a mini skirt, then you're already kind of stopping them being completely on show. But if you pop a trench over the top or any coat over the top and just wear it open, it kind of has a slimming effect, also an elongating effect as well. So that's why I'm just wearing the trench just open over it but obviously you can do it up if it does get cold i've put that white dress back on i just wanted to show you another way of styling a white dress for spring because i think they're such versatile pieces for this time of year so i've popped on my Louvre belt which is a gorgeous tan color and i think tan is just such a nice shade of accessory to go with white then i have a matching pair of june sandals obviously very hermes inspired and the tan goes so well with the belt these are hugely comfortable the shoes so this is definitely an outfit that i would wear maybe for a day's shopping or if i was going for a walk and i knew that it was going to be a nice clean walk you know not a muddy one somewhere with a path somewhere maybe like the grounds of a stately home or something like that and i wanted to make this look a little bit more girly and almost cottage corey so i've added my bow from She's Parisian, which is a brand on Instagram. And it's just gorgeous. Look at the detail in that. And of course we need a bag. So I've picked up that pink Kath Kidston one again. I think it looks so, so cute. The floral bag with the pink bow. This is a really, really feminine look for spring. We're finishing on another monochrome look. So we're sticking with the white knit and then I tucked it into a white pencil skirt which is from and other stories and I love these ribbed midi skirts for my figure I think they suit hourglass figures really really well it's also nice as well for me because I would really like a cream jumper dress but I'm finding it really hard to find one that flatters me so if you can get a knitted skirt and a knitted 
jumper in tonal colours then you can kind of achieve the jumper dress look without actually having to find the right jumper dress. I have then worn this outfit with a pair of black ankle patent boots which I think are from New Look off the top of my head although I think I might have bought them from ASOS and then I've got my black Aspinall of London bag with the luggage attaches which is just such a statement piece that's a really good tip actually for building your outfits is to kind of have one statement piece and then keep everything a little bit more neutral if you want to you can add a scarf so i would probably add my burberry scarf that's for if it's a little bit cooler but to be honest this is a really good look for spring because you can obviously add things to take away you can have the scarf maybe wear a top underneath the jumper and then if it gets too hot you can take the jumper off and then i have I've also added a pair of gold hoops from And Other Stories, plus my Bulgari sunglasses just to finish off the look. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope that you got some inspiration from this video and I actually have six, six, I don't know why I found it so hard to work out how many fingers was six then. <laughs> six more casual spring outfits for you to show you in another video. I was gonna do them all in one video, but a lot of it has been washed today and still it's not dry, so it's being split up. So if you liked this video, then there's more where that came from. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you have the notification bell turned on so that you never miss a video. And make sure you follow me over on Instagram as well because I do style outfits over there. And a lot of what I buy, you will see there first before you see it on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much and I will see you next time. Bye.